Dundee United, though, are 100 years old today. In their early days, they were known as Dundee Hibernian. Played in green and had a huge Irish following. Sounds familiar. The 38th and final game of a gruelling SPL season for Celtic and Rangers will decide the destiny of the title. And Dundee United, of course, need a point to guarantee European football. For the third time in five years, a helicopter will be hovering with the SPL trophy. Destination Dundee or Glasgow. We are going to witness the mixed emotions that football can bring. The ups and the downs of it. Unconfined joy for some today. Seemingly never-ending misery for others. Winning the title would be just unbelievable. Losing the title would be just unbearable. It's going to be a day of nervous tension. And at the end of it all, extreme exhaustion. Yeah, what a day we've got ahead. Pressure on all sides. And here at Tannadice, we've got... Good football in United, young players looking for Europe next season. Of course, Rangers with the biggest prize of all on their minds. Well, Rangers have toiled at Tanner Ice in recent times. Just one win in their last nine visits, and that was over three years ago. Both Rangers and Celtic have tried tossing this title away, but it's not going anywhere. It is time to reach out and touch. That is probably the last place the Rangers fans wanted to be today to win the title. Very difficult at Tannadice. The record hasn't been that good of late. But one game, one final push for those fans and for the players on the pitch. Of course, their away record has improved of late Rangers. Seem to manage to just grind out wins. And it's been a really important run of matches for them. Good timing as far as the title's concerned. Of course, Dundee United, well, they haven't got such a great record at the moment at Tannadice as they've had in the past. I think that's why clinching that European place has been so tough. Champions will go straight into the Champions League next season. The runners-up will face a couple of nasty qualifying rounds. Rangers and Celtic have already lifted the title in their dreams, but now it's time for their players to turn those dreams into reality. If Rangers win today, of course, they would be champions and there would be absolutely nothing Celtic could do about it. Yeah, I think if he offered Walter Smith that at the beginning of the season, he would have definitely taken it. It's in Rangers' hands. A win, and the title's theirs. A nervous wait in the tunnel for the two teams. Eager to get out there now. The old firm are locked in a titanic tussle for the title. Champions or runners-up, everything or nothing. Judgment Day has arrived. Boyd has had a quiet few games, but it's time to deliver today with 19 goals in 25 matches against Dundee United in his career. He just might. How ironic if Kenny Miller should prove a major influence, though. He could become only the fourth player ever to win titles with Celtic and Rangers after Alec Bennett, Yonks ago, Mo Johnston and Stephen Presley.
Paul Caddis is on loan from Celtic. You couldn't make it up. He could do his parent club a very large favour today. And Lukas Zaluska will join his Polish pal Arta Boric at Celtic next season. He's the last barrier for Rangers today in his last appearance at Dundee United. Doogie McDonald is in charge of the mayhem. Orba Smith was Dundee United assistant manager when they won the title in the 80s. He clinched the last of his seven crowns as Rangers manager here in 1997. Maybe it's meant to be at Tannadice today for Walter Smith. On a day like this, you don't really believe it'll go your way, you just hope. But where there is hope, there is fear. Because coming second in Glasgow means coming last. Robertson immediately involved for Dundee United who would dearly love to clinch a European place it would be a sign of the immense progress made here over the last couple of years although even if they don't make it they have come a very long way and what Dundee United don't want to do today is lose the opening goal they've done that all too often against the old firm this season Pagera sorts out good with it and his red card against Aberdeen rightly rescinded Abatch will find the villain of the piece last week when he's getting jeered at Tannadice and no wonder really Kyle Lafferty he's made a hash of his first attempted at cross and he's always going to get a bit of stick and he's getting up his punishment will come next season for his disgraceful behaviour that led to Charlie Mulgrew of Aberdeen being sent off. Dundee United, 100 years old today, happy birthday to them. And they will want a double celebration by earning a place in Europe. Kenny Miller, Chris Boy, Pedro Mendes. Papac seeking out Davis, he's found him. Stephen Davis, Boyd behind him and Miller. And an early chance goes begging for Rangers inside two minutes. Mendes. Boyd's been fouled by Dodds. Mendes. Whitaker. challenged Davis Whitaker Conway Kovacevic who always seems to play against the Glasgow clubs frantic start as you expect what an atmosphere in this stadium Certainly going to get to boiling point today. Greg Levine has transformed Dundee United in his two and a half years in charge. On the brink of Europe. Gomez, who's had an outstanding season. Guaban, another terrific player. Mendes closing down. Guaban. Is now harassed by Kenny Miller. Darren Dodds preferred to Gary Kenneth in the heart of the defence alongside Lee Wilkie. Here's Paul Dixon, who's been another solid performer throughout this campaign. Miller, Edu, David Weir, who took over the captaincy from Barry Ferguson and who will be hoping to get to grips with the SPL trophy later.
fouled by Papach. Rangers with just one win in six years of coming to Tannadice. But they know what they have to do today. It is in their hands and at their feet. Gomez with a rare error, which has encouraged Miller, and now Boyd. Lafferty up against Kovacevic. Well, Miller's doing really well because he's checking back into that midfield area where Dundee United do have a man over in there, so he's going to have to do that. Kenny Miller not giving up on that. No surprise. Papach. Turned away by Dodds. Bouguera. Davis. Chris Boy turning. And it's forced in by Kyle Lafferty. Villain last week. Hero this week. how quickly things can change in football. Lafferty, just after five minutes, the hero. It's poor defending, though, from Dundee United. It's onside, lovely ball in there from Davis, and Boyd does so well. And I don't think Lafferty knows much about that. Great play this from Davis, skips past Gomez, then plays the ball with the outside of his right foot in to Boyd, who holds off Wilkie, and the ball just skids off of Lafferty, or is it Kovacevic? I think it's Lafferty that definitely gets the final touch. But what he does do is put himself into the danger zone. Well, I suppose it had to be him after last week. Kyle Lafferty, for this ninth goal for Rangers. Only two of them have been away from home, and they've both come here at Tannadice. Lafferty scored a late leveller. In a 2 2 draw. Miller. Rangers really up for it. They couldn't be more up for it if they tried, but Miller has stumbled. And yet again, Dundee United throw a goal down against one side of the old form. Every match this season it's done, it's been done in that way. But what they have shown is resilience. They've managed to come back from a good few of them. And that's the job they have on their hands now. Well, the Rangers fans are around us in the main stand here, and the stand is jumping up and down. Dixon. Away by Weir. Yes, Dundee United are never averse to doing it the hard way against the old firm. They have frequently showed their powers of recovery against Rangers and Celtic, and they will need to do so again. David Robertson for Mogaro Gomez. Kovacevic. David Goodwillie. Strong challenge from Papac. Kenny Miller doing really well. Started the game on fire. As usual, plenty of movement, but also lots of strength to hold off Lee Wilkie. And then the free kick. Lee Wilkie, yellow carded early on. Be wary. He's 
easier said than done on an occasion like this. Pedro Mendes towards Majid Bouguera. Davis. Miller! What a start from Rangers this is. Davis again right onto it. Good ball again, back in there. Kenny Muller doesn't get the free shot. It's made difficult for him. Caris, David Robertson, Whitaker intervening. They won't be panicking so early, especially as they always go behind to the old firm and often recover. Matica is not letting Conway in. A perfect start for Rangers, an early goal from Kyle Lafferty. Start for Walter Smith. This is what he'd have wanted. Ten minutes in, a goal up already. His team right on top of the match. One of the best starts the Rangers have had in a long time. And on the right day. On the outside, Walter looks like the calmest man inside Tannadice. On the inside, maybe not. Mendes towards Boyd. And there's a shot by him. Regardless of what happens here, Mendes, Boyd, Dodds sent that back to Zaluska at a fair pace. Offside. four meetings between these teams here at Tannadise, there have been 16 goals. I wonder if we will be in for another feast today. Rangers not hanging about, not hanging around. In front already. Bouguera's free kick towards the goal scorer at Lafferty. Dixon. Finding his keeper just. There have been so many goals because the one thing you can see about these matches, both teams are going for it. Likewise today, so much to play for. Big Levine will be unhappy with the start, but it has to be said that it's not that they've played particularly badly, just that Rangers have been so up for it and started very, very well. Of course, a goal helps. Lafferty that was brought to Rangers for his goals he's found himself out in that left-hand side an awful lot but look what he does he gets himself in very early Kovacevic just loses a yard on him I don't think Wilkie will be happy with defending in the first place against Chris Boyd but after last week we'd have thought that he would be the hero already well he has scored in his last two games against Dundee United Lafferty on both occasions, after coming on as a sub, in from the start today, instant impact. Papac. Coming in the air a long time for Zaluska. Wabin for Gomez. Dixon for Goodwilly. He's away from Bouguera. Guaban, 
Pereira. Back to belted away. Gomez. Dixon. Guaban. Tracked by Bouguera. Conway. Good cross. David Robertson's header. Great play on the left-hand side, Brabant holding it up, Conway arriving just in time to send it in first time. And Robertson, completely unmarked there. Poor technique in the header, though. United can be formidable opponents, particularly for the old firm. They've only managed one home win since the turn of the year. Lots of draws here. And they also have the worst defence in the top six, and that was shown for the goal. Wilkie normally very solid back there. That was the case. Callis on loan from Celtic. David Robertson. Rangers unable to dig this out. Dixon delivers. And no takers as Canis knocked it across the six-yard box. He couldn't do any more, Canis. Did his job. Lovely ball into the back stick. No one really in there alongside Goodwillie to get on the end of things. And that could be something that will prove very difficult for United if you don't commit players forward. scored it and that's not good news for Dundee United because Aberdeen could yet pit them to a place in Europe as it stands Aberdeen would earn a crack at the Europa League next season and Dundee United would finish outside of the top four but a lot can change it probably will amid a few twists and turns an engrossing end to the SPL season. Yeah, it's far too early for Rangers to think about just sitting back on that lead. And they also know with just the one goal, anything can happen. So still very much an open match. Gomez. Conway David Robertson good Willie Robertson Conway Conway did well there put a smile on his face job done the Rangers fans, player of the year. Not surprising, really. Absolutely solid in there with David Weir. Very good combo. Caris. Good Willie. Whittaker. by Dixon. Bouguera underneath it. And it's broken kindly to Pedro Mendes. Tried one with the outside of his boot. Caddy. 
Morales. Lee Wilkie. David Goodwilling. That is for the forlorn chase. It has gone out. Good Levine before the match mentioned the energy that he had in midfield. Didn't have much to play with up front as far as players, but obviously good Willie, good young striker, but no real support. Sandaza slightly injured. Daly out, Feeney out. So far, the energy levels in midfield have been more than matched by Rangers. why the, the stats are in favour of Rangers as best defence in the league because even with Didi Weir down and Bugera one-on-one with Good Willie he gets knocked there and then what follows is Papac just watch him at left back look at the way he chased himself back in there tucks right in excellent defending sums up his season really that's Papac David Weir's all right Recently turned 39. Not getting too old for this yet, though. Papach. Lafferty. Rookie for Gomez. Off Edu. He took his hand, but unintentionally. Dixon. Guaban. Fending off Edu. Darren Dodds. Whitaker won it. Davis dispatched it into touch. Bit of a little spell now for Dundee United. The passing has gone up a notch. It's making it easier for them. Long way. Dundee United have somehow come out of that. It's Prince Guaban. Over the head of Lee Wilkie, who was offside anyway. It was a long choice, I think. Certainly not good delivery into Wilkie. Robin. Took Dundee United a little while to get their breath back after losing the goal, but they have that now. No goals between Celtic and Hearts yet. Aberdeen leading Hibs 1-0. Rangers, a goal to the good at Tannadice. As it stands, Rangers champions. Aberdeen joining Hearts in Europe. But there's three quarters of the game to go, yeah? Rafferty returns it to Papach. Gomez guarding his box. Bugera, Davis, Whitaker, taken out by Conway. That's good play from Whitaker. He has to try and do this to Conway, push him back the park. Not the best defender. Conway, and the putter gets, putter gets past, and he's got a, a delivery there. 
worked well down that right hand side with Davis and Whitaker. Davis, not great. Mendes. Scotland, it's down to England. Middlesbrough need a win and other results to go their way in the fight for survival. That's from 3.45. West Ham against Middlesbrough. Paul Dixon, who crossed the road from Dens Park last summer and has stepped up admirably to the demands of top-flight football. Likewise, Scott Robinson, who also across the road he was injured in January but is on the bench today and off to Guerra Was the big shout from Lafferty and the Rangers fans as well. And just finishing the season so strongly. Seven wins in their last eight games. by Hibbs, of course, but so for Celtic. And the United's 100th birthday party. It will certainly fall rather flat if they are picked to a place in Europe. The Rangers will be having a party of their own if they pitch the title at Tannadice. Here last year, let's help it won it. Is it Rangers' turn now? It must really be unthinkable for Dundee United and the fans not to be in Europe next season, having played so well for the majority of this. Eddie Miller not giving Lee Wilkie a moment's peace. Good Willie. Whitaker for Davis. He's away from Dixon. Offside, Kenny Miller. And Davis has started this match so well. Down the right. It's been very consistent for Rangers this season. Excellent player. Yes, he was the player's player of the year. The Rangers, that is. Robert. Wilkie. Gomez. Robertson. Gomez again. Can is available, hugging the touchline. Still going, Cadiz. Mendes has to get involved. Talking to Dixon's free kick met by Whitaker. It's not a great kick from Zaluska at all, but Gomez rescued it. David Ware given a shove by David Goodwill. Tenacious Goodwillie, but he's a highly promising player who 
we will probably see the best of next season. He's been a pretty much a serial sub in his career up till now. Yeah, but he is much improved over the last few months. Big Levine looking forward to it. Better things from next season. Callis. watch it is a corner he's doing well Cardis on that right hand side for Dundee United plenty of energy <laughs> Dixon's corner Clutch right on the line by Neil Alexander that was pretty close we know that Dixon can deliver a lot of swerve on that one. Quite clearly, see. We were near over the line. This point's been flattened, and Rangers have a free kick. Half an hour play. Darren Dodds does protest. An early goal, what Rangers must have dreamt of, came along. A second now, would be a crushing blow for Dundee United. Papach, stopped by Boama. A tad ambitious from there. Oh my. Just let it trickle out. Whitaker, Davis, looking to put Kenny Miller in, offside, flags up, Lafferty's put the ball in the net again, but this time it's not counting. It's coming again from that same area, Davis, plays the ball in, it's Kenny Miller who gets the timing of his run just a little bit wrong, just a yard or two. As they say, this boy working hard. Wilkie Dodds Dixon stopped by Whitaker. At the expense of a throw. Dixon preparing a long throw. Aimed towards Lee Wilkie. David Weir took command. Not once but twice. away by Papach then and Rangers have got the throw which has baffled Dundee United somewhat John Bicknell offering some sort of explanation <laughs> Wilkie won it by Baguera. Um, that looked like a foul from Wilkie on Boyd. They just still have it anyway. Lafferty. It's off Kovacevic. Papach will take this. Wilkie 
you're just about able to leave it for Zaluska. We are. Rangers ahead, but they haven't managed anything on target since their goal from Carl Lafferty after six minutes. Well, it's now up to Dundee United to try and work Alexander a bit more. Play their way back into this match, but try and get a goal back. Carl Lafferty's got a free kick in a handy position. Mendes will probably swing this in. Mendes out for a corner by Kovacevic. Plenty of height in there for Dundee United to deal with good service from Mendes. have their first corner. Pedro Mendes will take it. Easy catch for Lucas Zaluska. Should carry through to Neil Alexander, who played in the run-in last season in some huge games. And has played in the running again this time around. McGregor injured at the end of last season. Naughty boy at the end of this one. High into the stand. From Dixon. This is where teams can show some frustration up against Rangers. And that back line in particular, so well drilled and organised, makes it very difficult to play your way through them, certainly when they have a goal advantage. Miller, Boyd, challenged by Gomez, and Callis takes over for Dundee United. Conway. Good Willie. David Robertson. He's only got Gomez in the middle. Good Willie might need a touch of treatment. It's good play from Good Willie. Just gets caught late, I think, from Edu. Difficult job for him to do up there on his own. And all that his midfield can expect him to do is hold the ball up and link up as best as possible. He did that. One for David Goodwillie. It's a good play from the young striker. Certainly taken out of the game. Dixon's throw. Guerra and Edu both went for it. Miller cleverly for Mendes. Chris Boyd, can he take this chance? He's taking his time, and an incredible clearance by Kovacevic on the line. Unbelievable. Oh, that's fantastic defending. Papac did ever so well down the left hand side. It's a lovely ball in as well. And Boyd gets mixed up, then he turns, finds himself that yard, hits it so well. And Kovacevic gets himself back on the goal line to help his goalkeeper out. His goalkeeper needed it. That was some intervention from Kovacevic. Boyd denied. Mendes with a corner. Bugera's header. It's rather ironic if Lafferty and Bugera are on the score sheet. Good ball in, real pace on it. Allows Bugera the chance to attack it. 
And that was goal bound from Boyd. Struck it so well once he'd created the space for himself. Don't think he can believe that it didn't go in. Not telling a clearance from Kovacevic could that be? We'll find out as the afternoon goes on. Kovacevic just about made up for his, his error in allowing Lafferty half a yard in the box. Good will it. Dixon. There's no contact from Whitaker. Just sheer determination. Came kindly to Mendez. Wilkie. left in the first half. Rangers ahead early on through Kyle Lafferty. Denied a second by Kovacevic on the line. Boy, he looks certain to score. Good Willie. Send all the big men up. And Dixon will go across to deliver from that right hand side with his left foot. Whipped right in on top of Alexander. McDonald puts the free kick on hold. He's keeping a close watch on proceedings. On that six yard line. Dixon delivers. And it's Lafferty back there to knock it away. United throwing players forward and a little short at the back now as Kenny Miller threatens. It's Paul Callis who's minding the shot. And Craig Conway. And Wilkie. Kind of playing midfield at the moment. Didn't get back and hasn't got forward again. Here's Good Willie. Second bite at it for David Goodwillie. Oh, it's a corner off Edu. That's a much better play from Dundee United. Certainly now committing all the players forward. And at times that can be a huge risk for them. Getting caught in the counter-attack, but they have to take that risk if they want European football. It's as simple as that. Still nil-nil at Celtic Park. One-nil to Rangers here. But they are under pressure from Dixon's corner. Lafferty once again, making his presence felt. trying to hold up the striker. I don't know how much he really caught Boyd, but he certainly was contact there. Whittaker, using his strength to see off Conway. Conway, fired up. And coming back for more. Bouguera. Warburn, it's one back by Edu, Boyd, Edu, and Dodge considerable frame in the way, a free kick for Rangers though, right on the edge of the box. I think that's a reckless 
tackle there from Dodge. Both legs out. Edu coming at him. He's just had a stroke of luck. He put his arm out there at Chris Boyd, and this time he just throws his left leg. His trailing leg in there to Edu. In a yellow card. For a touch of verbals from Prince Pawarban in the aftermath. Potentially, this is a massive moment. We are so, so close to half time. Can Rangers double their lead? Celtic still being held by Hart. Well, it's close enough to go for power. More difficult to get it up and over the wall. Looks like Papach may get his shots. And glory. Scored his first Rangers goal against Dundee United in a 3 3 draw at Ibrox this season. Papach sees this one bounce off the wall. Mendes! It's in! From Pedro Mendes! Rangers! What an unbelievable strike, under so much pressure as well. Because no one comes out, he takes a swing at it with a left peg. It just sets up nicely for him. The free kick goes all wrong, and he's hovering there at the edge of the box, and he's scored them like this before. But never on as big a day, I don't think. What an absolute beauty, and just at the right time. Well, he's only scored four goals for Rangers, but they've all been absolute beauties against Celtic, against Partick, against Inverness, and now against Dundee United. He doesn't do tap-ins, he specialises in the spectacular. It's half-time now, and Rangers can almost reach out and touch the title. Two up at Tannadice, Pedro Mendes with a stunner after... It's goalless at half time at Celtic Park, and they have to win, of course, Celtic. But Rangers are sitting pretty. So, so much in control of their own destiny now. Surely they can't let this slip. Kyle Lafferty, the villain of the piece last week, the hero of the piece this week, scoring after six minutes. And on the stroke of half time, Pedro Mendes with another fabulous finish. And Rangers are close, close to glory. Half time, Dundee United nil, Rangers two. Bounce back from situations like this, but Pedro Mendes has Rangers two nil up against Craig Levine's Dundee United halfway through. Here's the second half. Back to Scott Booth. Back to Ian Crocker. Rangers 45 minutes from the title, even allowing four Dundee United. Regular salvage operations against the old firm. This is going to be a monumental ask of them to drag something out of this game. But at the moment, they need to if they want to realize their European dreams with Aberdeen leading against Hibs. The next goal in this game is going to be a tad important. Edu, Miller is going to beat Kovacevic to it, Lafferty. Well, it would be a comeback to beat all comebacks if United can pull this one off, especially as Rangers have got so much to hold on for. They can almost taste victory. They see themselves lifting the title. But 45 minutes to go. Some hard work to be done yet. We're just going back to John Hartson in the studio. The reason that Sundaz isn't playing is purely because of his hamstring injury. Craig Levine before the match saying that he didn't feel that he could last more than 45 minutes at the top limit. But I'm sure that he will come on at some point in the near future. Terrible kick from Zaluska. 
greeted with great pleasure by the Rangers fans. Papach's throw. Chris Boyd tugging the shirt of Lee Wilkie. Kovacevic with a free kick. David Weir is underneath it. On by Lafferty to Boyd. Now Miller. Lafferty again. Skipped away from Kovacevic. Darren Dodds will steer it away. Rangers in a hurry to wrap up this title. The third goal would do the job nicely. It's important for Rangers that they do keep the tempo high and not allow Dundee United to settle in the second half, and especially not allow them to get a goal back because that would cause all sorts of problems for Rangers. We certainly lift the home crowd. United haven't played as well as they'd have liked to today so far. I think a goal will just give them the confidence to, to lift their game. And that's why Rangers have to keep the tempo high and keep possession. Helicopter Sunday. Takeoff is poised for Dundee. In this, there is a dramatic change in circumstances in this second half. Celtic nil nil with Hearts. Rangers two nil up. They couldn't have asked for much more, although they might have had more. Chris Boyd's effort played off the line by Kovacevic. I think that sums up how well Rangers. Did in that first half. Two goals, goal line clear clearance. But generally, a much better start than they've had in the last few months on the day that it counted. Boyd offside, Kenny Miller. Rangers won the title at Tannadice twice in the 90s. Only enough with headers from Trevor Stephen and Brian Laudrup. Two players hardly renowned for their heading ability. Sandaza may be on soon for Dundee United. Davis. Boyd. Whitaker in close attendance. No other support available for Boyd. Sandalza then, toiling with injury this week. He's going to come on for David Robertson in a moment. And he does have a terrific record against the old firm. Five of his ten goals for Dundee United have been against the Glasgow Giants. Dundee United needs Sandalza to weave some of his magic again because, as it stands, they will miss out on European football. Good Willie, shadowed by Bouguera. Conway. It is having none of him. And Rangers get the verdict. Played well, they do again. As Sundaza prepares to come on, but they'll have to get more service into the strikers, United. If they're to claw this back, because so far Good Willie's not had much to work with. for Lafferty. Papach. Bouguera for Davis. Stephen Whittaker returns it to Stephen Davis. Mendes. Nicely done. Whittaker. Boyd! Get that 
Chopper to Dundee now! Chris Boyd delivers! And Rangers have the title beckoning big time! Number 31. If anyone was going to bag it for Rangers, it was Chris Boyd. A great move as well down the right hand side. Again, Davis involved. Lovely little ball out there from Mendes to win. Take a perfect cross on a plate for Boyd. Right in between defence and goalkeeper. Exactly where that striker wants it. And he's calm and he's composed. And it's on his left side. And there's no danger, it's not hitting the net. From one great striker to another. 3-0 to Rangers. It's only the sixth time Chris Boyd has scored against a top 16 this season. But with 31 goals, you can't argue too much with an extraordinary record. Been quiet the last few games. He's made a big noise now. Chris Boyd giving Rangers a three-goal cushion. Bergera having to send that out. And Sandata who's come on for David Robertson whilst Rangers were celebrating their third off target for this first attempt. Sandata scored twice at Ibrox earlier in the season. Dundee United drew 3 3 with Rangers. Gary Kenneth is also coming on. In place of Lee Wilkie. This game, though, surely even beyond Dundee United's masterful attempts at recovery this season. Edu, Davis, Mendes, Boyd, Kovacevic. Moving away from Boyd. Offside against Kenny Miller. Chris Boyd, by the way, scoring his 20th goal in 26 matches against Dundee United in his career. Well, he finished it, but Mendes and Davis have picked the right day to come back in form. And Whitaker supporting well on that right-hand side. It really was on a plate for him. Good Willie. Foul on Papas. It's Dundee United's 100th birthday today, but Rangers are having a slightly bigger party. They've had to watch Celtic celebrate in recent years winning the last three titles. Painful that. But Rangers are so much on course now for their first title in four years. It will be their 52nd overall, mind you. They've had a few. Yeah, it was in their own hands before this match, but it takes a lot of guts with the pressure on it to come out and impose yourself on the match like they did. A very tough arena. Tana Dice. Boy, Easy street now for Miller. Pedro Mendes cutting across, but it's been truly dealt with by Dixon. Hearts and Hearts and watch the score. Seeing the Rangers fans. Papach. Rangers oozing belief and confidence now. Found by Lafferty on Gomez will bring Dundee down to a free kick. Still a fair chunk of the game to go, mind you. Rangers will not want to give Dundee United any glimmer of a comeback. Conway, Bugera. <laughs> Just 
Weir. Kenneth. Well, we're just going to have a force to sit back. Try and shut up shop. And then catch Dundee United on the counter. Certainly able to play that way with the pace of Kenny Miller. Walter Smith in position one, as far as he's concerned, and the fans, they're enjoying it now. He was looking pretty calm when he arrived at the ground, Walter Smith, and has stayed that way, whereas uh, Ali McCoy was a bundle of nerves. It means so much to Rangers. They believe they are due a title. And it looks like they're going to get it. Edu lost out to Gomez, but David Weir is there, standing firm. Something is still being held anyway, nil-nil against Hearts. It must be rather flat in Glasgow's East End. It's far from it at Tannadice, apart from for Dundee United, that is, because Aberdeen, 2-1 up against Hibs. Jimmy Calderwood's team will be in Europe if things stay as they are. Dundee United have got to hope that Hibs can help them out. Rangers don't really care about anyone else right now, and nor should they. in front of Goodwillie, but here is Sandaza. Way by Bouguera. And the United distraught. Rangers quick out of the blocks to Tannadise today. Everything has gone according to plan so far. David Goodwillie, offside Sandaza. It was a move that was waiting to happen. It was opened up initially by Mendes. First time pass. The celebrations can really start now. in the morning. Good Willie. You know, starting the game well makes a big difference, but sometimes you can't see that this United side are very young. Rangers today have looked like seasoned pros out there with a job to do. Well, 
the helicopter won't have to do much hovering today, it seems. It'll be taking a familiar route, the route it took last year. Celtic triumphant at Tanadice a year ago. Rangers copying them. Yeah, it's hard to see a way back for United, especially the way they played for the 62 minutes. Haven't really threatened Alexander at all. Rangers solid at the back, running the show in midfield, and dangerous up front. Gomez. Cut out by Edu, but he's given it to Conway. He's about to be replaced by Danny Swanson. Good will it. Conway again. Gomez. could get a Smith. for three seasons, their worst run since the mid-80s. Aguera, who has been a remarkable replacement, really, for Carlos Coelho. Secures a goal kick, and Dundee United are going to take off Craig Conway, as we thought, and bring on Danny Swanson. Similar in... Uh, Build and mode to Conway, he'll be lively, put himself about. This boy toiling a little, and we think Nacho Novo could come on to play a part. The man whose goal at Hibs two years ago clinched Rangers' last title. With a little bit of help from Scott McDonald the third part. And Barry Ferguson receiving warm applause from the Rangers fans as he warms up. Mendes. Lafferty. Laguerre is the man. Didn't help Edu, but Figuera has it again. Handball by Mendez. He'd love to get in on the act. Nacho Novo, a firm fan's favourite, is going to take the place of Chris Boyd, who scored the critical third goal in this game that has left Rangers closing in on the championship. Well, he had the score for a few. And it was his time again. Another very good contribution from Chris Boyd. And Machinova gets a run out. Novo returning to the city where he once played his football across the road at Dundee. Down in the tunnel, he was saying he just wants to get on and score. You wouldn't be surprised if it happened. Mendes offside, though, for Novo.
managers have ensured that it hasn't exactly been a final day of drama. Ahead early on, scoring a second on the stroke of half-time, scoring a third early in the second half. Sasa Papac, Kenny Miller now for Stephen Davis. Lafferty, who started the scoring spree today, and he's onside. Nacho Novo never looked too comfortable with the ball. Miller came off Gomez. happy to keep possession and now and then try and feed the ball through into the channel for Novo Kenny Muller's dropped off a little bit deeper now to shoot up the midfield area season that could end in not break for Dundee United if they are shunted out of a European place and they are out of that European place at the moment Aberdeen sneaking in on the final day unless they to let it go against Hibbs. 20 minutes left. No need to bite the nails for Rangers. Sitting pretty on a 3-0 lead in the comfort zone. Davis. So far, Rangers have been absolutely superb. Bouguer and Weir just strolling through this match. That has been the way most of the season, as Barry Ferguson looks to come on for the last 20 minutes or so. Ferguson, one of only two players in this squad who knows what it's like to win the SPL title. Nacho Novo, the other. Steve on a victory. Another goal would uh, be most welcome, but they're not in any rush to get it. There is no need. Harry Ferguson will be on next break of play. Side.
Andy Ferguson is going to take the place of Kenny Miller, who does know what it's like to win the SPL title, but that was with Celtic. Miller's away. And Barry Ferguson, who returned against Aberdeen last week, his first appearance for nearly two months, is coming on to join the party. He's won four titles, four Scottish Cups and five League Cups with Rangers. So he just had to be around for this one. Kenny Miller not 100% fit, but fit enough to cause problems early on. And that's when Rangers stamped their authority on this match. And now just no up front. And the five across the middle. And Daz is offside. afford a smile or two on the Rangers bench and McCoy's will be loving it when Rangers get a glimpse of the SPL trophy and Hibs are down to 10 minutes for Todri Ian Murray from a Rangers player sent off it's turning into a rather dismal day for Dundee United who looks set to miss out on a place in Europe in this hips and snatch an equaliser. Yeah, it's a dejected looking Dundee United now. As I said, earlier it'll be unthinkable that they don't get into Europe, but they have had frailties this season that have added to that. Defensively, not as strong as normal. That was seen today. Up front, problems, injuries to strikers. Have it start with good Willie from the beginning of this one. And midfield didn't really get it going today. Maybe even Gomez as well, but Greg Levine has a few players in mind in his quest for new talent. Swanson. Papach. Offside Novo. Papach has played really well today, so consistent throughout the campaign. Doesn't bomb on like Whitaker did in the first half to good effect. Ferguson for Novo. Saw the keeper off his line and gave it a go, why not? And it's Rina up, why not? Sandaza, Mendez, Lafferty, two of the goal scorers today. Guerra, who's been a colossal figure for Rangers, the Algerian. Well, something's gone on here, which is going to lead to a yellow card for Sandaza. having none of the uh, Spaniard. It's a rather relaxed Rangers bench. Uh, but they didn't think they would be at this stage. But everything has... Also 
today in such a big match. Kenneth caught out there, and Nacho Novo! It's held by Zaluska. Swanton's got a free kick, Lafferty all over him. Well, when Rangers lost to Celtic in the Christmas Old Firm game, they were seven points behind their rivals. But in the second half of the season, there has been a massive turnaround. And the pendulum swung Rangers' way. not going to swing back towards Celtic. Mendes looking to come away from Swanson. Novo, Davis, overhit it. Ferguson relishing being involved. to Barry Ferguson that uh, he won't be lifting the title unless they do it jointly. David Weir took over the captaincy after Ferguson's international indiscretions. Papach putting himself about to great effect. Pedro Mendes might have had a shot. Ferguson. Whitaker. <laughs> offside again, Novo. Come on, Nacho, you've got to get onside once. Well, he's desperate, isn't he? To get on target. is hovering with the SPL trophy and it sure knows the way to Tannadice. Came here last year to give the trophy to Celtic. This time around it is going to Rangers. On by Gary Kenneth to David Goodwillie. Swanson, Sandaza, hacked away by Papach. Spotted the helicopter. The SPL trophy is going to land at Ibrox. Edu into the last ten minutes. Mendes. Kovacevic. week, allowed to play this week, 
and it was he who got the ball rolling for Rangers today with an early goal. persuasion have already left which is a bit harsh on their players who have given their all this season might miss out on Europe but their time will come I'm sure Mendes for Ferguson McCulloch had to deal with a rather big bubble <laughs> Edu Whitaker. isn't it about time Rangers scored again Ferguson Straight through to Zaluska. Aguera. Whitaker. so much tension has actually had little because they've been in charge from the off Nacho Novo we had Davis going one side and Mendes the other and found neither well, I think the thing is that Rangers made it easy on themselves by starting so well in this game they were right up for it they got the early goal they settled in they composed asserted their authority right from the start didn't allow United to settle. The Rangers have been all over this one. Edu. Kovacevic. Edu for Davis, for Whitaker. Everyone a hero for Rangers today. Whittaker, Ferguson, Novo. A proud moment for Walter Smith, who last season thought he had it, but slipped away badly. And this term, it's hung in the balance for so long. Gary Kenneth forcing Alexander into action late in the game. For the first time that Alexander's had something to deal with, and it's from the big defender, Kenneth. stage of the game, although Rangers with the best defence in the SPL this season, won't want to be breached now. Swanson takes it, Kenneth in there, Carries in there, Kovacevic, goal kick, that <laughs> again was haranguing Kovacevic. He's had a superb season, Sasha Papac, and brought to the club by Paul Le Guin. He did get something right. He certainly did with him. Take a while. Certainly is the number one left back for Rangers now. There'll be a few hoarse voices amongst Rangers fans in the morning. They haven't stopped singing throughout this second half. And you can't blame them for that. Their team have done them proud. Thousands of them inside Tanadice and a good few thousand came up without tickets. 
no doubt watching in pubs in the region. Rangers fans will be watching in just about every corner of the world, you suspect. Davis. Novo. Nacho Novo determined to do his bit. Lee McCullough could cut across to the near post. And Papach is going to receive a yellow card for that uh, of a crude challenge on Swanton, who's taken the free kick in the wrong place. stoppage time, no need for any more. The job has been done, the title has been won. And a free kick for Nacho Novo. The fourth goal near the end, we'll put the polish on this result. And put the polish on the SPL trophy, which is heading Rangers way. this season because the Scottish Cup is up for grabs for Rangers as well. Denied the trouble when Celtic beat them in the Co-op Cup final. They have the SPL title now. They could have the Scottish Cup next week. The 90 minutes is almost up and Dundee United are going to be out of European contention unless Hibs can save them at Aberdeen, Aberdeen still 2-1 up, Hibs down to 10 men, Celtic Hart still goalless. And Aberdeen have just missed a penalty and the chance to make it 3-1. We're into 60 seconds of stoppage time. Rangers fans have spent most, well Sandaz has had a go. Rangers fans have spent most of the afternoon warming up for the big party. Yeah, and they're building up for the crescendo now. Walter Smith knows that's that. Shake your hands already with Craig Levine. this season what do they get they get the title it could have been so difficult this one but Tanner's ice against Dundee United last day all the pressure was on and they came up trumps 
and cruised it in the end, really. David Weir will soon get to grips with the SPL trophy. And a season that started with an embarrassing European exit for Kaunas is going to end in domestic bliss. That's football for you. And Rangers could yet do the double, of course. Barry Ferguson came back in the last couple of games. Celtic stopped in their title tracks today. Rangers were in control of their own destiny. And they knew they couldn't let it slip. Failure just wasn't an option. Yeah, and so many ups and downs this season. A real roller coaster of a title chase. But when they had to do it, when it was in their hands, they took advantage. It's finished nil-nil at Celtic Park, so Rangers are champions by four points. Number one in Scotland and number one in Glasgow. Although they did it the easy way on the final day, they did it the hard way really over the course of the season, but when there's a title at stake, it can be like that. Ten long months, 38 grueling games, and this is what it has all been about. Majid Bouguera, an inspirational figure for Rangers. They wondered how they could replace Carlos Cuellar. That's how. Oh, for me, he's a better player. Bouguera got absolutely everything back there. What a partnership he formed with David Weir. Look at his face. Pure joy and relief. The job's been done. The pass eight has well and truly started. The ups and downs of football encapsulated across Scotland today, though. Jubilation for Rangers, desolation for Celtic. Walters on the phone. Already looking for new players. <laughs> Persuasion. Well, they don't have to think of it because it's not happening. And they lost to Kaunas when they lost to Celtic at Christmas. They must have thought that this day of days was beyond them. Not so. Kevin Thompson there. We'll be looking forward to next season now and getting back. I think Walter Smith. And the continuity that he's achieved this season really helps him. The players all know each other. They've all made a contribution. Christian Daly as well. And bouncing. Well, the title has been won at Tannadise for the second season running, but it's Rangers' turn to party this time. for many of these Rangers players. Only Nacho Novo and Barry Ferguson have won the title before. Kenny Miller, who, of course, becomes only the fourth player ever to win it with both sides of the old club. And a hug between McCoyce and McDowell. Walter Smith trusted the tenants. Not bad to start as this, Kyle Lafferty. I suppose it just had to be him after last week, didn't it? Pedro Mendes on the stroke of half-time, banged in a beauty. Four goals this season, all of them stunners. And early in the second half, it was perhaps fitting that Chris Boyd should score the last goal of Rangers' season and to leave Dundee United without much hope of a comeback. Rangers have done it. On Helicopter Sunday, the choppers' destination was Dundee after all. They are the champions. The atmosphere will be slightly different in South Africa, but we'll know the IPL cricket champions. Kyle Lafferty, set up by Chris Boyd, scored the opening goal.
Rangers looking strong, always threatening, and that was a miraculous goal line clearance from Kovacevic to deny Boyd. Rangers were not to be denied in stoppage time at the end of the first half. That was Pedro Mendes, that was 2-0, and that was Rangers well on course. Off course for Dundee United, still hoping, of course, for a European spot, but it was all fading away for them as Chris Boyd made it three, and Joy on and off the pitch for Rangers. 82 for Celtic, 86 for Rangers. Hearts were already in third place. Aberdeen have overhauled Dundee United on goal difference, and they go into next season's Europa League. Mark Aitley and John Hartson with me in the studio, and uh, Rangers' smart came up with just the performance here today to win a title. Yeah, absolutely. I think we said before the, uh, the programme started that uh, if the Rangers team turns up today, they can win and go and win comfortably. Um, and they did that uh, in emphatic style today. I thought it was a, a really, really top-class performance. A lot of the players turned up today. Mendes was up at the plate. Stephen, Daisy, Stephen Davis was outstanding for me. Baguera was outstanding. And uh, that back four that's been solid all season has uh, remained solid today. I don't think we could have expected the Rangers win to be quite so comfortable, John. No, it, uh, they went about their business in the right manner today. Um, Dundee and I, they never turned up. Um, you know, we, we were surprised with one or two of, uh, of the selection. But, uh, you know, in the end, it was very comfortable, 3-0. If there's any consolation for, for Celtic supporters, you know, even if Rangers would have got beat today, they, they, they never did what they needed to do and beat Hearts at Celtic Park. So, you know, in that, in that sense, Rangers have won comfortably. They've what they wanted to do. And, um, in all fairness, they were worthy winners on the day. Never much doubt about the flight path for the helicopter carrying the SPL trophy. It's time for a prize giving. Back to Scott, back to Ian. Well, these Rangers fans cannot wait anymore. They want their heroes back on the pitch and ready to go up to receive their medals and their trophy. to Rangers for a change, Celtic victorious in the last three seasons and in six of the last eight but this time around Rangers are celebrating championship success and it was never in doubt from the off, an early goal you can't ask for more a goal on the stroke of half time you can't ask for more a goal early in the second half, you get the drift it couldn't really have gone much better. And Celtic failed to win to boot. Yeah, so many times this season it didn't go to plan. But today, they were right on the ball. From the off. And those fans now get to enjoy it. They've bitten their nails this season at times. It's all joy now. Forget the hassle. The medals are being prepared. I wonder how many of these fans expected that this would happen to them when they suffered that horrible defeat to Cowes. And when they lost to Celtic at Christmas. Football. It does things to you. And Rangers have collected the title. Well, I think those fans knew that if their team turned up today and played to their capabilities, they could win this and win it well. And there they are, the heroes. Yes, it is now time to salute the champions of Scotland and for the 52nd time in their illustrious trophy-laden history. It is Rangers. Worthy winners, you are always worthy winners when you claim a title. And some Rangers fans who uh, didn't have a ticket for the game have managed to get themselves inside the ground to participate in this celebration. Oh, it's been a team, it's been a unit very much as Walter Smith sets up. But there have been some individual outstanding performances this season. And all in all, four points it was in the end, they deserve it. Walter Smith couldn't have asked for more from his team today. And the season ain't over yet. Scottish Cup 
glory beckons next week. But that's for next week. This week, it's about winning the title. This boy. Behind Alan McGregor there, who didn't get to play in the running and has no one else to blame, but it's not a day to think about that. Nazi Bouguera. Outstanding figure for Rangers all season. David Weir standing alongside Barry Ferguson for now. Ferguson stripped for the captaincy after his behaviour on international duty. Let's not forget the injured players, including Kirk Broadfoot. Kevin Thompson, Stevie Smith played his part for a few games as the season wore on. David Weir at the age of 39, Christian Daly at the age of 35. Loaned out to Blackpool, Graham Smith, the third choice keeper. It's a squad effort. On the final day of the season, Rangers seize the moment, seize the initiative, and now they are about to seize the SPL trophy. And Barry Ferguson and Davy Weir are both waiting to come up. out on this, was he, Barry? Oh, what a proud moment for them both. Ferguson's big title with Rangers. David Weir can't wait. The moment is nearly upon us. Rangers jubilant and itching now to get their hands on the SPL trophy that they have worked so hard for. The final day turned into a perfect day for Rangers. And they won't be kept waiting for much longer. Savour the moment. Rangers fans, we've waited long enough. On top of the league, on top of the world. Simply the best, Rangers champions!
some Rangers men through and through there and some Rangers men, women and children through and through in the crowd joining in the party I knew it was time to stand up and be counted they knew what they had to do and they did it from a very early stage gaining control of the game and control of the race for the title and let's hear what the manager makes of it all Walter Smith Walter, your eighth league championship as manager of Rangers, how highly does this rank? Uh, well, they always rate highly, I mean, I must say, you know, it's very difficult to separate one from the other. I can't remember a season maybe where we've had as many difficulties as, as we've had to overcome this year, but uh, we've managed to do it and I, I just feel proud of everybody, it's a fantastic achievement for them. The players went so close to winning the league title last season, is that what drove them on? Oh, I think obviously they join you at a club where there are demands of winning. But, uh, you know, they managed to do that and they totally enjoyed it. But I, I can't speak highly enough often this season. They've been terrific. They've put some really awkward circumstances to handle uh, and they've done that brilliantly. And when you think back to the new year, when you were seven points behind Celtic, never a panic in terms of your, your approach, just keep on doing what you believed in? Oh, the panic for a few times, I must say. But, uh, no, I, I didn't think at that stage that we would manage to get back after Celtic's consistency over the last few seasons. But we managed to do that. We had a disappointment last year under a certain set of circumstances. Today, they're more than made up for that. And of course, this victory for Rangers today, the stock Celtic winning four in a row. How key is that? Yeah, it's always the rival is there, and it's one that you have to face up to. Um, we've struggled. We thought we were going to do it last year, but we didn't manage it. But we've managed it this year, and uh, it's been very close. It's not been a great deal between the teams. So it's close enough for us. And, uh, as I say, I'm, I'm, I'm just delighted for everyone involved in the club. It was, a, it was a big, big day for us. And it was a fantastic performance by your team today. They certainly did it in style. Well, I mean, I think that's the one thing we'd not forget. The team, when it was needing a big performance, gave one. I thought they were fantastic today. They started the game exceptionally well and, uh, and went on from there. So, you know, fantastic achievement for them. And it's thoroughly deserved, Walter. Well done. Thank you. Well, he is one of the game's good guys. He was Dundee United's assistant manager when they won the title in 1983. He won his last title for Rangers on this ground in 1997. So it's rather emotional for him to claim the trophy again. Ali McCoy and Kenny McDowell, the men alongside him. They've been through a lot this season, but hey, it was worth it. There's been questions asked throughout the campaign of these players, of Walter Smith, and he said in his interview there that there have been difficult times, times where maybe they didn't believe they could really do it, but in the end, the last few months, they've played so well. Let's hear from the old fella, the man who got to grips with the trophy, David Weir is with Stuart. David, after nine months of ha hard work, how satisfying is this? It's a fantastic, a great moment, you know, we've worked really hard this season, under a lot of pressure again today, and we've come through and we're delighted. I've got to say, it was a wonderful performance from Rangers today, you must be really pleased with the fact you went out in style in front of a massive Rangers following. It was, you know, a lot of people were asking questions of us this week, say, asking whether we could do, whether we could stand the pressure, and we answered them the right way. Of course, Walter Smith brought you to the club, how pleased are you for him that you've managed to get the job done? I'm delighted for him, you know, really am delighted for him, he's game here. Um, he's turned the club around, you know, in, the, in a short space of time. He's got us back with, with the winning league championship. He deserves all the credit for that. And this means Rangers will be looking forward to Champions League football next season. Will that persuade you to stay one more year? We'll talk about that another day. Today's all about winning the league, you know, these fans. That trophy, you know, it's, it's a fantastic day and we're enjoying every minute of it. That's for another day. David, well done. Thank you. Well, you have to make the most of these moments and milk them. Rangers... Went for the quadruple last season, ended up with two trophies. Could be the same number this season. The SPL title and the Scottish Cup could both be theirs. As we hear from a man who's won this title with both all firm sides, Kenny Miller is with Stewart. Well, Kenny, how would you sum up this day? Oh, it's amazing. It's uh, you know, come with the day and one, it was in our own hands, and 
we were one of one convincingly. I mean, we couldn't have asked for it any better. We fair an early goal, one just before half time, and then the third just after half time. So let's give the fans and, and the players a bit like, kind of rest of their nerves to be fair. But it means a lot to me coming back here and, and winning the title back after what was what could have been a tough season like. So I'm absolutely over the moon. And when you think back to the start of the season, you were getting a fair bit of stick off the Rangers fans. Totally different scenario today. You're getting a standing ovation. Yeah, that's it. I, mean, I thank the fans. I, mean, I think a lot of them were right behind me for the word goal, but obviously a section were, were against me coming back. But like I say, it's like me coming back here and winning the title and the first year coming back and, and getting it back means, uh, like it means a lot to me. Now, of course, you've been through this situation before, albeit with a different club. Is it just as enjoyable second time round? Of course it is, man. It's even more enjoyable. Uh, but to win it back after, after three years, I mean, I was here eight, nine years ago and never won anything, so like, to win my first trophy under, under Rangers was, uh, was fantastic. And you formed a crucial partnership with Chris Boyd this season. How pleased that he didn't leave in January because his goals and your goals have been massive for Rangers. Yeah, I mean, big boy, he does what he does. He scored goals, but I think we've seen today there's so much more to his game this season. And he's worked so hard and he's off there with 20 minutes to go absolutely on his feet. And uh, when I'm buzzing, he play up front and I was delighted when he never left in January. A great effort by you this season, Kenny. Well done. Thanks very much. Cheers. Kenny Miller, title winner with Celtic and now a title winner with the Rangers. And Stephen Davis, Northern Ireland teammates together with a trophy. Every single player has done their bit for Rangers throughout the course of the season. In the end, it was no contest today. Rangers sprinted across the finishing line, and the goal that clinched it for them was scored by fittingly Chris Boyd, and he's next up now. Well, Chris, as a lifelong Rangers fan, this must be a special moment for you. Yeah, when you look at when you look at the scenes around about, as I said, it's a delight um, to be part of. To see such a such a good team um, that's 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 won the, the, the league. And uh, you must be very very pleased with the performance today, because everyone said this is one of the toughest venues to come to, and you did it in style. As I said, we, we know we knew um, coming here it was going to be hard, but as I said, we started a bit of busy cellar doors, we got the early goal, settled this, and we went on leaps and bounds from there. 31 goals for you this season, and we're not even finished yet. You've got a cup final to look forward to as well. Yeah, as I said, we look forward to next Saturday, but as I said, we'll enjoy the moment just now. And, um, we'll have a good night out tonight. Of course, people always say the table never lies. Do you feel Rangers are deserving champions this season? I mean, I think we are. Um, as I said, we've wrote off that many times. We've came back, we've won the league, and I said, nobody else can argue it. And there was a get a fantastic reception from the Rangers supporters they were delighted that you stayed was there ever a doubt that you would turn down the move in in January you may have gone to Birmingham this is why you want to be here when you look at um, the fans and that and as I said it's, it's a delight to be here as I said I'm proud of that and as I said I want to I want to win more Chris you've had a fantastic season well done yes, thanks a lot cheers the three wise men of Rangers showing off their silverware now let's hear from Barry Ferguson. Barry, you've had some dark moments this season, but I imagine when you have a day like this, it's quite easy to put that all behind you. Yeah, of course, the last six weeks have been um, probably the most difficult I've had in football, but uh, this just makes it even better. I mean, it was, I didn't expect to come back and play again. And uh, I had the chance to... I had a chat with a gaffer last week and I come back against Aberdeen and then today, so I'm just happy. Like, when you think back to what was going on a couple of months ago and, of course, the, fa the fact you picked up an injury, did you feel you may have played your last game for Rangers? I thought, I thought I would miss the rest of the season, but thankfully I, I come back and um, had the chance to, to play the last couple of games. Of course, this time last year, Rangers were out on their feet really you couldn't quite get over the finishing line how pleased for the manager and the, and the rest of the squad that you've got the job done this season yeah uh, of course but I mean the team that ends our top of the league is the best team uh, I don't care what anybody says we've deserved it throughout the season um, we've been the best team and um, we're showing that today we come up here it's a difficult place to come and come away with a three goal victory especially when Dundee United were going for a point to, uh, to qualify for Europe no, it's just a fantastic day and you know these fans I mean it's brilliant and we can go back and have a good night tonight but Chris Boyd said that he said you'll have a good drink tonight but of course you've got to screw the nut a little bit because you've got a cup final to look forward to yeah, but we'll celebrate tonight and we'll obviously we'll win tomorrow afternoon 
to start training again. Um, but you've got to enjoy these moments. You've got to enjoy it, and we'll certainly do that tonight. Barry, thanks for your time. Well done. Yeah. It's been a captivating climax to the SPL season, but it's done and dusted now. Inverness relegated, Hearts and Aberdeen in Europe, Celtic runners-up, Rangers champions. Let's do it all again in August, shall we? The title destination was up in the air on this final day of the SPL season. And when it landed, it landed on Tayside. And the trophy was heading for Tanadise. Today was the day Rangers put on their Sunday best and rediscovered what it feels like to be champions. More from Tanadise coming up. Yeah, well, a lot of people were humming and ahhing whether Kyle Lafferty would start the game. I felt he would start the game because he had a point to prove, and as it happens, he played very, very well. You know, it's it's Wilkie there that he's not favoured for that, and he tries to dive in. Boyd smashes it across the goal, and Lafferty gets a little bit of luck, um, comes off his leg. But they had a great start, and really, after this goal, Dundee United, they sort of huffed and puffed, really. They didn't really have a presence. I couldn't really see them getting back in the game. Um, and then... You know the second goal, which we're about to for two 0 and there was really no way back for Dundee United no, at this absolutely point. Absolutely no. It's a good, I mean, it's, well, we could say that because they've been two 0 behind to the old firm before and come back. But on this sort of occasion, the way Rangers were playing today, I just you cannot allow. I mean, okay, a fortunate deflection off the wall, but you just cannot allow a player of that sort of quality, that sort of space in front of goal. It's only going to end up okay. Yeah, gets a bit of fortune. It goes through a few players, but hits it into the ground across the goalkeeper. And 2-0 just before half-time, it's an easy, tea talk, easy team talk for Walter at half-time then. And seven minutes after the interval, Chris Boyd's 31st goal of the season sealed it for Rangers, and it was again beautifully created, John. It was, it was a great ball by Whitney Look, Wilkie there, trying, I think it's Wilkie trying to play offside, he's, he doesn't know what's behind him, sticks his arm up there. I think he's probably in line, he might, might even actually be offside, I'm not too sure to see that again. No, it's a perfectly timed run, great run, good finish, good pass in. But as I say, 3-0, game over, and from then on it was party time for Rangers. Dundee and I did, it was just played like a testimonial game then. Um, I've never known, I've never wanted to win anything as much in my life um, as that league for, for, for those boys today, for the team. Because I just felt they deserved it the last two years, not even so much this year, Stuart, I just, over the last 18 months or two years, they've put so much into it and they've given, given, given us everything. And boys like Davey Weir, I, I, I could cry, I'm not happy for them. Is it a different feeling winning, winning it as a, an assistant manager, as a coach, because at times you're helpless on the sidelines watching them? Oh, without doubt. You call that the spot on, because effectively once they cross the line, you can nip and tuck with one or two changes. But really, it's up to the players once they go over that, uh, over that line. But I'm sure you would agree. I, I thought to a man, we were absolutely terrific today. Our two centre-backs, our two full-backs, and we scored some, you know, uh, some lovely goals. I, 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 I thought, you know... For, for us to be playing with so much pressure on us in terms of, of needing to win the game, I just felt the way we conducted ourselves and, and the, the effort and the, and the skill and the ability we showed today and, I, and what was obviously a, a, a nervous situation was, was, was outrageous. It really was. People spoke about how difficult a venue this is to come to and have to win. There were certainly one or two mind games from the Celtic camp. Did that help fire your players up? Well, <laughs> to a certain degree it probably does, sure, but... You know, that's a difficult place to come to and get a result and you know something that will be just as difficult next year. The fact that we haven't won here in or two, two or three years and you know, Celtic hadn't won here either this season just goes to show what a difficult place it is. Um, and obviously United were going for the, for the European spot, but um, you know, it's, we just asked the question of the lads, you know, really, you know, we felt that they had earned it, but they had 90 minutes to go and prove it to themselves and go and win it, and they did that. And after missing out on the last day of the season, a year ago, does this make up for it? Um, that's a great question. I don't know if it makes up for it because um, you you obviously remember the the, the the disappointments as well. But I tell you what, it's going a long way to making up for it because I'm I'm just so pleased for the team. Ali, well done. Thanks a lot, Stuart. Good luck.